Me again. So some people might wonder why I am bashing the government so much and embarrassing the hell out of it. It is only to preserve the union that I share the information I do. Now, you might say, how is shaming the government saving the United States? Well, we currently have a federal republic with representative government and three branches. And if government has their way, they're going to either A, self-implode through bad exposure, or the military is going to do a exercise and practice a natural disaster. And as soon as they turn over the reins for a brief period of time, the military will say, you're done. It's our country now. And the representative government wouldn't be able to do anything because they don't have an army to defend the people. The military is a bunch of greedy motherfuckers with an allowance that is so big it doesn't know what to do with all the money. So they buy nuts and bolts that cost hundreds of dollars. And toilet seats, thousands of dollars. It's a sham. It's a complete sham. And it is only because representative government allows it to occur. That is the fault of our senators in the upper house and the representatives whose term is only two years in length and they're worried about re-election the entire time they don't really have much of a chance to do anything now what's one way to remedy this we need more representatives of government our nation's capital has moved to three different locations in our country's history. There's nothing that says we can't relocate. And we need to build a big stadium. And we need more representatives. And it should be in the middle of the country. So it's geographically accessible. And we should build a new capital that's really about freedom and about rights. But my ideas fall on deaf ears because I'm a targeted individual and government forgets all about me because I'm tortured with their program. I don't count. Well, I do count. And I care what happens to my future. Government doesn't. They look at everybody as a number. They do not care one bit whether you're dead or alive. But they'll send the IRS after you. 
when 95% of the budget that Congress spends <laughs> comes from the top 5% of the nation's income brackets. The more you know, the more things need to change. Like your underwear, which I don't wear any. But if I did, I would change it more often than government changes things. They keep things the same. Like our economy, which is based off of uh, industrialization and factories and corporate America running things. Telling government what to do. Government's got a tough job. They've got the elite telling them one thing, and then they have corporate America, who's also the elite, telling them something else they want. And the people get shafted. <laughs> people don't count. What a shame. The government cares so little about the people. You better.